Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's me, your girl, Coach Medora. My eyes are so irritated. I was cleaning out something. something got my, my eyes are very irritated. But I want to welcome you guys to the broadcast today. We're talking about gratefulness, being grateful. Um, I'm sorry, I'm inviting some people in. Let me invite them in. Here we go. Okay, so we're talking about gratefulness today. And one thing about gratefulness is it needs to be remembered. You know, um, you have to remember those grateful things in these troubling times, you just do. So one thing we want to do is write down Grateful acts or acts of favor. First of all, let's define what is what is the meaning of grateful. It's a feeling or showing of appreciation, of kindness, or being thankful. Um, received or experienced with gratitude and welcome. So what are you receiving or experiencing? What are your experiences that are making you grateful? We often remember the bad stuff uh, and not, we don't even remember the bad acts. And I'll tell you, you'll learn why later. We don't remember the bad acts, but we remember how it made us feel. And we, we remember that it made us feel low. And so we, we tell ourselves we're low. Um, so you need to write down these grateful acts. And I'm gonna show you later, um, later on in this week, how, um, posting stuff around your home is, 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 is a great way to increase uh, gratitude in your life. But the thing is, if you don't write these things down, so like you take, say like if you take a few minutes every night and start to write down the acts of favor that God has given you, has shown you throughout the day, you know what you've done? You brought him in your person's life. Because, see, God said, you have no other God before me. I'm jealous. See, this is what I love about our God. This is what I love about the God of Israel. He don't lie. He don't pretend to be something. And then when you get in there and get in trouble, he don't help you. No, he helps you. He says, I am who I am. This is who I am. And I, whatever you need me to be, I am that. So we, 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 you know, you start talking about him. You know, he likes, oh, they call him my Lord. They call him in. Okay, I, I hope he don't really like me. <laughs> anyway, um, he's, he gets excited. He's like he's coming into the womb and in and, and Ecclesiastic he says he's coming across the mountains. And if you do that before you go to bed at night, do you know you get dream protection? Because what happens is you'll start thinking about him being grateful and oh yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, because hallelujah is the highest praise for you and you alone and so forth and so on. I, I don't make me don't make me go there. I'm looking at two different things. I'm sorry, my eyes going wild. I ain't crazy. I'm looking at two different devices. <laughs> Glory. So writing down, um, writing down acts of gratefulness. And but let me tell you another thing it does. It does something for the future. Let's go back to the future right now. Let's say a couple of months, maybe even years, you're cleaning out a closet or whatever, and you're going through books and you're just like, he left me out. And you read it on oh, November such and such in 2017. He left me, but God brought me through. I remember God brought me through. I remember I just had to get a shower, take a peppermint bath. And, you know what I'm saying? Write these acts of gratitude down. Okay, it'll help you in here. That's that's my tip for today. Um, that's that that's what I have for you guys. Write these, write, write, write this down. Now, if you want um if you want to know more about how to get an increase in not just gratitude, but in the nine laws of health, do you know that gratitude it fits in with one of the nine laws? First, more than one, it, it fits in with knowledge because, see, you know who brought you through. You, 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 come on. Ha! I don't come through this thing. It's a plan. 
Look. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna act like a lurker. <laughs> Gratitude, you know, it's it's also a law of trust. You know, you trust that God has brought you, you trust that he's here, you trust that he's hearing that thank you, and you trust that that thank you activates his do it again reflex. Because when you when you call on him and do stuff, he just be like, oh, my babies. You know, just like when you be good for your mama and daddy. And you know, you got a pair of sneakers last last week. This week, you know, you get the y'all going to the beach. You know, doesn't nobody else in the family wanted to go to the beach, but you wanted to go to the beach. And your mama was like, okay, we're gonna go to the beach. And everybody make fun, everybody have fun of it. Every it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what grat that's what gratitude does. God, it has God do it again. Now you get what you want to do this weekend with the family, because y'all got such a big family. Am I talking about myself? I might be out of here. Anyway, gratitude. Write it down. Look at it again before you go to bed. Write as, as a matter of fact, let that be your bedtime reflections. Reflection. So you usher in the presence of the Lord because when he come, he coming with his host. Somebody, what? They don't wish it. They don't wish it. That's one thing. The wish factor don't work on. Don't nobody wish that the army of the Lord will come upon them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Y'all have a great day. Love him, love him, love him. <laughs>